there was always there will be and always was a void in my heart and it was just due to the fact that I didn't have my mom for, for a, a long amount of time and my mom was out there trying to hustle get her money up you feel me and and she was doing everything she could and I, like and I ain't even from the dub my mom like I love my mom to death that's my that's my that's the apple in my eye I'll take a bullet from my mom any day you take a bullet from my mom right now no question no questions asked but it was just at the time when she was younger my mom was 17 18 with a baby and I mean her her, her nigga not paying her no mind she ain't have nobody around you feel me so she was just us and trying to get out of mud she was passing me hand to uh, hand to hand and shit so it was like so you at grandma house you grandma, yeah I, initially it wasn't even just that like mm-hmm. she like to friends and shit you know what I'm saying our babysitters and like distant family and shit like that it was nothing really too close so I grew up having to self soothe but imagine having to self soothe and not doing it and just being like mentally mentally ill from the very beginning and just being depressed from the very beginning mm. and I mean and I mean this like and I'm saying this like from my heart like that's really what it was my mom is mean <laughs> my mom, my mom probably like, my mom's probably the only girl that could beat me up. My um, how do I put it? My mom is like the spit image of me, but a, like probably more you know pretty. Okay. She uh. She doesn't have gold teeth though, right? Nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, she look she look is the reason why I got gold teeth though. Like my mom when I was a kid, I, like wanted me to get gold teeth. She so, wanted you to yeah. when you were a kid. Yeah, when I was a kid, she asked me, bro, like, asked me if I wanted to go to you type shit. What the fuck was... Nah, because it's just where I was, like, pumping though, bro. Like, like niggas like Kodak, like, like bro, it was big on girls. Girls was a yeah. thing. Like, girls... To be honest, in the South, know? girls is everything, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, yeah. Ass, bro. Yeah. Every, what, you need... It's like becoming a man. It's like getting... It's like losing your virginity once you're, like, it's 16 tight, or so. Yeah, it's like becoming... It's like from, from boy to thug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mom went through it hard, like... My mom was just in situations where she couldn't take care of me, you feel me? Like, niggas done drive-bys on me when I was, like, a jit type shit. Like, like I, I stabbed my first nigga a bit. Like, I bit out, like, basically a nigga tried to put his hands on my mom type shit. And like, you were how I was, young? I was, like, six. Six. Like, six. And you six. stabbed him? And I, I with what? Bit, I bit his flesh out and, like, could, like grabbed the glass shard and, like, poked him with it type shit. Like, stabbed him with it. Like, wow. When I was, like, like six, seven. Like, uh-huh. My mom just had me, like, she was in a situation where, like, she wanted me around, but she couldn't afford to, like, because of shit she was around, you know, it, she was still growing up. Like, my mom was raised in Jamaica. Hey, I must be out of the loop, because today when, when you called me on Face, that was the first time I heard you w- w- with a Jamaican accent. I know your mom's Jamaican, because I've talked to your mom, beautiful woman, and she is, mm-hmm. and she is Jamaican, Jamaican. Don't Jamaican. call her beautiful nigga, I'll beat you up. Like, my mom wasn't a prostitute or nothing, but, like, she just she just wasn't in a very stable environment because she had no help at that. Like, right. My mom just had it hard, bro. Like, uh-huh. honestly. She, so she, raising a kid, honestly, was on her last uh, her last priorities. You feel me? So what she did was she passed me from hand to hand to people that could take care of me, you know? Uh-huh. And, like, doing that, like, I was put in situations that weren't the best, but I get what she was doing. So I don't resent her. I would never resent my mom, but, like, my mom had it hard. I had it hard. I hated I hated, like, I hated my, I hated my dad because his previous decisions had affected me, mm. and it and it affected me spiritually because my dad was in it, like, I got locked up and was going to jail and shit. I ended up going through the same process. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now, as far as his upbringing, his upbringing was far different than me. Mine was not traditional. My, I, it was almost like being thrown into a void, you know? And there's a lot about my family that people do not know. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things that my mom has been through, my family's just like kind of spaced apart, you know? So it's 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 a lot to, to mend in itself, but I understand that I have to be that middle ground. I have to be the, I am the gatekeeper. So I'm the one who has to fix everything. Basically, I remember I used to beat niggas at school type shit just to like hear my mom yell at me or talk to me. What, just because you wanted some attention? Yes, I wanted some attention. Yeah, like I remember I used to go to like fucking um, Margate Middle. I remember like I remember one day like this bitch kept fucking with me. Like, and I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't say hit girls. I don't know this is not something that, but I'm gonna like keep it one thousand for me. I don't like to lie. Um, there was like this bitch that kept slapping me at school type shit. So I remember like one day. I was like, all right, obviously it's a girl. She probably likes me or some shit, you know? So I went to my mom and I asked her. I was like, I was like, would you get mad if I slapped this bitch? And she was like, well, I didn't say it like that. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like would you get mad if like I put my hands on a girl? She's like, you give always give a girl three warnings type shit. So like, 
I That's what your mom told you? Yeah, you always give a girl three warnings, and if she, like, she, if she keeps hitting you, like, obviously, she's trying to harm you. Right. So if she's trying to harm you, then, like, then you go to, like, to the extent to where you got to handle her. Uh-huh. So I remember one day, like, this, like, this girl and her boyfriend, like, were fucking with me at school, and I was, like, because I was making fun of them. And, like, I think she slapped me or some shit, and, like, I slapped the fuck at her and, like, and, like need her. And, <laughs> and I remember from after that, like, my mom realized how serious I took her. Like, her word was my bond, right. you know? So, like, afterwards, like, Anything she would say to me, I'd take it to heart. Like, if she would duck me, I'd take it to heart. Like, I remember one time she got mad, like, about some dumb shit and just said a lot of, like, hurtful shit. I'm on the phone with my mama. Say hi, mama. Hi, guys. Show your face. Nope, I look like Sealy. You could, you could pull a titty out or something for me? <laughs> no, get out of here, boy. You ain't trying to go viral on the ground and get some Insta- <laughs> Instagram clout? Not for that. Come on, come on, ma. You're not gonna give me any clout, bro. Come on, bro. No, you let me get some clout. You the one with the clout token. Let me get some clout. Let me see, let me see some cake, man. Come on. Let me see some you cake. Let me get some clout. I know you got some fucking cake, man. Come on, man. Stop playing, man. <laughs> I know the milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. You know what I mean? You're so stupid. <laughs> Come on. Put, show your face. Come on. Get some clout. No, I look like ceiling. Come on, man. Oh, Stop fucking playing, mom. Oh my god. Come on, mom. And hey boy, come on from a fool. Come on, mom, stop with your fucking bullshit, mom, stop! <laughs> I fucking hate you, mom! You know, I'm not for doing all. I fucking hate you, mom. I told my mom, like, one day, because, like, like I said, I was always after my mom. Like, I always wanted her attention. So I told my mom one day, I was like, if you want. If you want me to do anything, you need to be around. Mm -hmm. Because at this time, I lived with my grandma. Because she kicked me out. Because basically, like, bro, there's a lot to the story with my mom. Like, my mom is a big part of my life.